Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Dirk Diggler and today I have some exclusive, never heard before on the entire internet leaked information about Black Ops 4. Hold on to your seats because Black Ops 4 has just been... Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I had to be done. Dead memes need to be revived. Homies, welcome, it's your boy at Damon at Game. Welcome back to the Damon at Game channel. And welcome back to another episode of your source for COD Zombies News. No, I haven't got any unheard Black Ops 4 information. I kind of thought the Ali A dead meme at the end probably give that away. But we still got some hella dope information in today's video. We're going to cover everything in the past few days that have been released about Black Ops 4. We got dynamic themes of Black Ops 4. We got all the season pass information or the new season kind of pass thing. We've got loads of different additions you can buy. DLC 6, brand new multiplayer maps and weapons coming to Black Ops 3 and Black Ops. There's so much news in today's video. So I suppose let's jump into the first topic of today's video and that's the season pass for Black Ops 4 and the now revealed gaming additions you can now pre-order and buy for Black Ops 4. So, so far there's going to be four separate editions that you can buy and I think it's going to be five editions because still yet to be announced is the collector's edition which has not been announced yet whatsoever. It's probably going to be announced at Comic Con or it could even be announced tomorrow at E3 but the new editions are as follows. You're going to have the standard edition where you can just buy the flat game which is already available for pre-download as of now and it has been for a while but they've just released three more editions that are now able to be pre-ordered. We've got the Digital Deluxe Edition. It's gonna cost you about $99. It's gonna come with the full game download. You're gonna get the PS4 Dynamic Thing, which you get standardly anyway, so I'll show it at the end of the video. You're gonna get 2,400 COD points, okay? You're also gonna get access to the private beta, and you're also going to get the Black Ops Pass. The Black Ops Pass is basically the brand new season pass they've just renamed it with this you're going to get the four all new zombie experiences so you're going to get a map every couple of months which is pretty much exactly the same as the season pass you're going to get 12 multiplayer maps four exclusive blackout characters and a day one experience called the classified zombies experience now i think the only difference between the black ops pass and the season pass is we're not going to be constricted to actual dates like the usual every couple of months. Now I expect it will be for zombies, but I believe when it comes to the multiplayer, I think they're gonna bring out multiplayer maps a lot more often. So instead of three or four multiplayer maps every few months, they'll probably release a multiplayer map every couple of weeks or every month. Now we'll go into a little bit more detail about the classified zombies experience later on in the video, because we've got a good idea of exactly what that is but let's get on to the next edition which is called the digital deluxe enhanced edition it is basically exactly the same as the digital deluxe edition but you're going to get 8500 call of duty points and there is also something called the pro edition which is only able to be purchased from selected retailers of which i don't know but i expect it's going to be a shop called game in the uk and probably gamestop in the us and with this particular one, you're going to get everything as above. So the game, you're going to get the Black Ops Pass and all the bells and whistles. You're only going to get 1,100 Call of Duty points. But you're going to get the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 still book. You're going to get the Black Ops 4 Pop Socket. You're going to get 10 Specialist Patches, 3 Zombie Inspired Collectible Art Cards. Got any price on this exactly. I don't expect it's going to be much difference. I'm not sure. And there's going to be another version as well, which is going to be the collector's edition, which is yet to be announced. Of course, like I said, if you pre-order any of these, you're going to get the Black Ops 4 dynamic theme. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Near Die for recording this for me because I haven't actually pre-ordered it yet. You may have seen this already or you may already own it. I've actually waited until these editions come out before I even contemplate about pre-ordering it. But it's a pretty cool. It's only available on PS4. There's no theme for Xbox, unfortunately. And the Xbox players are really getting left out on this one. But it's a very, very cool theme indeed. And it's definitely going to set the vibes and hype for the up-and-coming Black Ops 4. Oh, what? and you thought that's all you get for pre-ordering Black Ops 4? You were wrong. If you are a PlayStation 4 user and you pre-order Black Ops 4 today, you're also going to get four brand new multiplayer maps to play right now in Black Ops 3. And this, everybody, is what has been coined as a DLC 6. DLC 6 was true, and it's called Back in Black Maps. It's Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, 
it's, it's for Black Ops 3, brand new DLC pack, Coin DLC 6, we found the leaks ages ago, there's a little picture on screen now, but you can only access these maps if you pre-order Black Ops 4. The maps are as follows, there was even a trailer released for this, so I'll play that in the background at the same time, we've got Jungle, uh, we've also got Slums, which was from Black Ops 2, there's going to be Summit, which was from Black Ops 1, and we've got Firing Range, my two favourite here are definitely Slums and Firing Range, I found my love for multiplayer playing slums. You're on Xbox or you don't want to pre-order just yet, don't fret. You're not going to miss out on these maps whatsoever. They're also going to be in the actual Black Ops 4 game itself when it releases, but they're also giving it to you as a pre-order bonus, which I believe is also a part of the brand new Black Ops 3 update. Yes, it's a very confusing time right now. They're part of the brand new update as well called Operation heatwave which is solely multiplayer based they've got some new game modes uh, they've got a sniper only game mode sticks and stones but they have looked out for zombies just a little bit the m14 has actually been added into a bunch of zombie maps are as follows ascension we've got moon shangri-la kino de Toten, and origins so you can now get the m14 out of the box in those particular maps as well so there is a lot a lot of stuff coming and a lot of incentive I think it's called the Black Ops 4 pre-order incentive to actually pre-order Black Ops 4. So including the PS4 dynamic theme, you're also going to get the classified day one zombie experience as well. You're going to get four brand new or remastered multiplayer maps to also play. It's pretty insane for a pre-order bonus, I'm not going to lie. But we're not finished there because as of today, up until July the 11th, you can download Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for free. Absolutely nothing. You can download the full game and keep it forever. If you download on PlayStation 4 right now or up until July the 11th for free. It's absolutely crazy. You need a PlayStation Plus to be able to download it. I would expect many of you already got PlayStation Plus. If not, and you don't want to buy Black Ops 3, you could, and if you don't already own it, you could just buy a month of PS Plus and then download Black Ops so it costs you like a, a fiver, about five pounds or six, seven dollars to download the full game but if you have got PS Plus and you haven't got Black Ops 3 you can download it. I actually own Black Ops 3 on disc which I've deleted and downloaded the free version so I don't have to keep using the disc anymore I can just use the free edition on my computer. It's amazing I can't believe they're actually giving away the full Call of Duty Black Ops 3 game. Absolutely incredible. Also, not only that, if you log in today as well, or during the Operation Heatwave event, you're gonna get a free calling card. A calling card is pretty cool. You've got the Titanic in the background and the iceberg that sunk the Titanic, which is obviously part of the brand new Voyage of Despair Zombies map. You've got a dude that sat on a rubber ring with the Black Ops at four, a flag hanging up, being summertime. But you've also got a picture of a gumball, which seems like gumballs could also be coming back to Black Ops 4. That's only speculation right now. But having the Titanic with the iceberg, which is mainly part of Black Ops 4, and the man with a Black Ops 4 flag, and then just mysteriously putting a gobble gum right there, kind of says to me that we could be seeing the return of gobble gums for Black Ops 4. It's a great time to be a Call of Duty fan right now. We've got free games, huge pre-order bonuses as well. Don't forget tomorrow the E3, there's going to be a Zombies panel. So if you've been watching the E3 coverage, be sure to tune in tomorrow because they're actually going to be talking about some more zombies. And man, I can't imagine if they're going to release anything else to us. They've released so much. But let's talk about the brand new multiplayer map, the hinted new multiplayer map that can be coming to Black Ops 4. So the Black Ops Pass includes a day one bonus called Classified Zombies Experience. Now if you haven't heard already, there is huge speculation right now that this is going to be a remake or remaster of the Black Ops 1 map 5. Now if you look closely at the word classified and you look at the A, instead of using the standard triangle for the blank in the background you've actually used a pentagon five actually took place inside the pentagon you run around the pentagon like crazy like a bunch of presidents do and that's where all the rumors are stemming from right now it's only speculation on this right now again waffles as usual just made 
a hella hot video because his storyline knowledge is uh, he's just you know he was kind of just born with the timeline imprinted into his skull so he's that well on it but he's gone into some great detail talking about how it could be five and how they can continue on with the actual storyline but there you have it guys there is all the information for today's video i've gone through pretty much everything that's come out in the last few days not into great detail if you want me to go into any more detail just let me know in the comments and I will knock a video out for you going into a little bit more detail. But uh, your pre-orders are ready, homies. I would go out there now or unless you want to wait for the collector's edition, which will either be announced tomorrow. If not, it will be announced at Comic-Con, which is a while away yet. But homies, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit me up over on Twitter at DamonNatGame. Be sure to leave a like on this video. It is always appreciated. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I mostly do news formatted videos on this channel, which means instead of making a 10 minute video about one subject, I make a 10 minute video about three or four subjects. And uh, make sure to hit that notification bell when it pops up. When do you want to be notified? Obviously tick all notifications. But I would follow me on Twitter anyway, because you're always going to get notified if you follow me on Twitter. Because YouTube don't seem to understand these days, if you press subscribe and you hit the bell and tick the box where it says all notifications, that they actually want to notify you. But homies, you've been absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the day. If you've got anything to ask me, be sure to hit me up in the comments down below. I'll reply to everybody in the first few hours and sometimes pop back in every now and then to reply to a few more comments. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have an amazing day. And until the next one, it's your boy Dirt Diggler. No, it's your boy Dame. <laughs> and I'm out.